Generic greetings and welcome back to Airport CEO once again in the previous episode we were starting the baggage collection and delivery system the baggage solution systems and it didn't entirely work there was a couple of issues and a couple of problems and blah 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 but we should be able to get it sorted during this one and this runway is starting to get very 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 cramped we might have to put another runway in at some point I've also just realized there's some trees there hey ho so as I said, we started work on the baggage system, and if we look at the conveyor belts, I'll just pause it for a moment here, we can see that we have our, the it's called the cargo bay, but it's essentially a place for trucks to come in and load and unload baggage. And then in this case, we've got a place where we'll unload, then go down through here, through this underground belt, all the way along, down, and then to this thing here, which is like a ring that goes around where you collect the baggage. So that's all fine. The intake is almost sorted. As you can see, we've also got underground belts going from here along, and then all the way across to this area here and it, then it just stops and the reason it stops is because you need to or actually I don't know if you need to but um, baggage need to be checked and in order to do that we need to have a is it a baggage scanner it is a baggage scanner there's a baggage scanner there a baggage scanner there and then we've got a, a variation of it which is like a like a more advanced version so you scan for organics explosives etc and it was really bugged out in the last episode so managed to fix it as you can see it's all working now so what we're going to do is sort this out so we'll go for the conveyor belt scanner and and we've got organics, explosives, money, guns, and drugs. So we're going to scan for every single one of them. So we'll spin this round and we'll place this thing in there. So that's the first one. And we're just going to go down the list and place one of every single type. And that'll mean that hopefully we'll be able to get all this uh, corner band off the plane or rather it never gets loaded onto the plane so that's that put in and then what happens is if any one of those are detected it will then take it somewhere and that somewhere will be a conveyor belt cargo destroyer which we will put in um, I think we'll put it about there perhaps because it'll no it's gonna come along and then no that'll be fine okay so what I'll do is max speed it out and then um, we'll get this built. Uh, before I forget, let's go over to areas and then baggage claim. And I'm just going to select this area as the baggage claiming area, which, well, obviously, the reason for it is that's exactly where it should be. So that's fine. And then we also need to do this little thing. Now, see this? This is annoying. This is where we have two secure areas. But when you put a door in sometimes, it doesn't add the security um zoning so this is not class as secure so if people want to go from there to there they can't if they need to be secure that can cause a whole lot of problems if you are having problems in your uh, airport and like people I can't get to a certain area then check that out because there's been multiple times where I've had um, huge issues because of that anyway are these still going those are still going that's fine uh, you might have noticed that I haven't bothered putting any flights in in fact uh, on the Sunday oh no we've got all these flights here we're gonna run these flights but then after that we're not gonna bother um why are these are these still running on them stands yes they are still running on those stands um I'm gonna cancel the flights on these ones because I, I want to have a couple of free days because you need to have have, uh, nothing booked in for your flights um, in order to uh, in order to finish it now is that classed as the Monday previous no it can't be classed as the Monday previously that's fine okay so as those are done Sunday will be done and then we'll do that one stuff on Monday yeah that's fine uh, you need to have like the the check-in desk and stuff not have any connections and such and uh, no flights coming in uh, in order to uh, sort the baggage out so as you can see, baggage is in, and that's all, all these scanners are in, so that's fine. So we'll go over to the items and baggage belts. We'll go for an overground belt, because we can, and then it'll go along to there. And then, obviously, we want to then just add all these, like so. And obviously, if, if it passes once, if it passes, like, this one here, which is, like, explosives or whatever, it'll go, oh, no, that's... Oh, that's, that's organic. So it goes, right, there's no apples in there, right, there's no C4... Oh, but there is some wooden dollars that send them off to get destroyed or whatever. That's what that does. And then what it'll do is come along here and around. And then we need to go into there. So it would be nice to have it going straight up because that would look really cool. So what we'll do is we'll do that. And if I delete, if I bulldoze that bit, then it does actually connect up. Excellent. That's fine. And while we're on, we might as well get the baggage belts once more baggage belts once more and then go down and then into that so that is technically the system all connected it should be okay right 
what I'll do is I will get some trucks and I will hire some people to work on the baggage system. So, the trucks are in the economy and procurement tab. We can see it says here the uh, crafter service truck. It says quantity one. Um, I want to say get two of them and we'll order those. And we should then have them placed here because uh, we've got, we got fuel trucks. We've got two of each fuel truck, you see. So, we've got um, two of these baggage um, handling systems or baggage handling trucks. We need people to operate that, which is in the uh, staff. Applicants, filter by, ramp agent. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. The general rule I found is it's four ramp agents for each medium stand. And I think it's two for the small ones plus people in here. So one, two, three, four. That's ten people in total now. I want to get about twelve. Um, there's the twelve. Actually, let's have fourteen ramp agents or something like that. So there's that all put in. So, what do we need to do now? Well, we've got this connected. We've got the trucks, which service trucks are in there. Yes, that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do is start connecting stuff up. So this room uh, has to have a, a connection to the baggage area, which is now connected. So that's saying that whatever gets taken here will be then dropped off at that area, or it'll try and use the it'll try and use all of the um, all the conveyor belt system to get there. If you had, say, an, another baggage claim area, then, and, and you had like a tilt operation, because there is a tilter in here, uh, that thing, where is it? Uh, there it is there, tilt tray, then you can have like multiple things, so that's why that's in there. Sorted. And that's that connected. We then need to connect up every stand, so we'll say connect baggage bay, so that's for each of these, uh, sorry, not stands, but uh, check in desks rather. So just connect every single one up. Wish there was a faster way of doing this, but. Um, uh, we'll get by. And obviously there's ones on the far left here as well. It doesn't automatically do it for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, it's not a hugely problematic task, is it? Um, and then there we go. So if we click on that, we can see that this has got connections between all of the check-in desks as well as the drop-off point. And then we need to start connecting the uh, baggage bay to the stands, which is exactly what we've done there. So there's, there's, there's those stands put in. These ones we can't put in yet because we still have flights scheduled, you see. So if we go over to scheduling, you can see that we've still got flights for these. But once Sunday's finished, we should be able to connect those up. Right, so there's that. Uh, this one is shouting at us because it's not open. I will not activate it yet, but what I'm going to do is say station ramp agents 4. So there's always going to be four ramp agents around this area. What I'm also going to do is get a door, a medium door, there so people can come this way, you see. Because otherwise, in they'll have to go like through... They can't go through that one, so they'll have to go through here and then along there. And it's just a bit too much of an issue. Okay, so... That's that sorted. What I also want to do is around here, I want to have, because at the moment you can see we've just got a big open area, I want to have another staff room. And this staff room will be for, it'll be for, actually, do we need another staff room? It might be worth it. It might be worth it. Um, we probably also need some more things in here. Let me just get some more things in this staff room. So we want for the staff room where is it? Furniture, armchair, trash can, office desk, yeah. I think we want some more office desks but we'll sort of space them out a little bit for reasons. Yeah, I don't mind that. There you go. That's fine. Um, so if we wanted to, because Obviously, a lot of the staff are having to come from here all the way up to this side. We could have another staff room down the bottom. I'm not going to do this one just in case we need another another cargo bay. But we could put another staff room in here and set it to only have ramp agents in it. I think that would be okay for now. Let's try that. Let's go over to the areas and then staff room, not staff zone. There is a difference. Um, and we will have it set in... Well, we could just have it right in the center if we really wanted to, like as a temporary operation. Hmm. Something like that. 14 by 20. And then what you do is you just place the items in it. So, for example, sofa. Could just have, like, the sofas go along one side like that if you really wanted to. 
And we can put walls around this if we want to as well. And then um, a couple of office desks. Uh, can't bulldoze that one. Because I'll put some plants in between them or something. Yeah, something like that. And then I'll set that as, it says all staff types. I'm going to turn that off for every single one, for all staff types. And then activate it for only ramp agents. So that's where the ramp agents go. So they don't need, they, they, they can go here, but they don't need to. They can go over the other side. In fact, if you really wanted to, if you want to put them over the other side, we'll say ramp agents, you're not allowed to be there. So all these ramp agents, now you'll see, you'll stand up and walk. He says. Even though none of them have done that. Ramp agent. I'm guessing when they go, they might come back and sort that out. Anyway. Um, this one we can't actually connect up to the baggage system. And I'm not too sure why. Because it's Sunday, as you can see. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Nothing there to, to schedule. Okay. That's... Oh, that one can, can be connected. So connect baggage bay. That one. That one's glitched, I think, because it says baggage bay connection, airport baggage handling service disabled. Stan cannot transfer baggage. We're aware of that. But then it says baggage bay connection, again, can't change baggage bay connection with scheduled flights. Um, sorry to break it to you, but we ain't got any scheduled flights. Okay. Nope. Definitely don't have any scheduled flights. Right, so, let's go to economy, contracts accepted, and we will cancel contracts for all of these flights, and then, as we can't do that one, that one, we'll cancel, see some of these, I don't know why, they're still there, so, Five daily flights requiring small zone. Uh, I don't know. Let's just delete these contracts. The ones that we haven't done anyway. Actually, I'm trying to cancel, but it's not cancelling them at all. Or is it because I'm paused? No, I just glitched. No, just, just completely broken. Okay, so I can't do anything about that. Um, and I don't think I can set baggage to these. Is that baggage bay is connected? That one isn't because it can't be. Right, I'm not going to worry about it because there's nothing I can do about it. Right, so we're going to activate the baggage bay. That is now activated and then we simply go over to the operations and then we turn on ramp agent service and then baggage handling system as well and that should be, should be a fully working baggage handling solution system. Let's go over to the economy and contracts we'll see what has been offered in terms of the airlines and we will start um, we'll start working on getting some more stuff in here so this is filtered by airlines which it hasn't now it has and we'll see what we can do so NAS is six successful flights for medium size I think we want one that has a bit of both that was always a uh, good before that 16 flights what's that medium flights Oh, 16, and that's 17, so 7 grand each. Oh, let's, let's do that one. That's pretty good. CLM's always uh, good for us, I think. And then that's 9 medium. That is 15 medium. More 15 medium. Let's go down the small ones. Uh, that's more medium. That's daily medium. Yeah, I think that's the difference because that says 5 daily medium, whereas this one is, yeah, just like a light one. Five daily light class. Sign that contract. Okay. I think that's the difference. So what we'll do is we'll say this one. We'll confirm them. I'll pause it. Have I paused this? I don't think I've paused this. Let's just get all these flights put in. So obviously this one's going to be a fairly empty day because we've only really spent... A little bit of time doing this. Uh, there's that sound. We will go over to... I say it says daily flights, but why can't I add more than one? It must be like each day. 
Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's, it's, it's each day, that's why, that's why. But then the contract still stays there, so I don't know what's happening on that one. Um, unpause again. We want to get a couple more. So that is... That's medium size. Medium. Light and medium. Can't really do that. That's more medium. I could reject them, and it, it removes them from this list, but... That's medium. But uh, I'm not going to bother... Because we might come back to these, you see. They're all medium and just sit. Uh... Oh, there's light. There's another one. Medium. So a lot of these do say class small, but actually are medium. That's light. There we go. And that'll do it. Okay, so CLM, lots of flights to place in here, so no problem at all. Stand, ooh, which there's one of the stands that does have baggage working on it. The other one does not because of reasons that I will really don't think I'll ever find out. And that's more that's more medium. Be nice to show the sizes. Although actually, if you mouse over, it might do do that. But we'll get. Almost all but I think we'll get all but one flight in today. Ah, look at that. One one day. One day. Alright. Confirm that one. Job done. Right. Says our flight's all sorted. Uh, and we will unpause it. So, we'll crack on. So that should be, should be our baggage delivery system all done. Uh this one we need a contract. That's his that's still contract going. That's still paper news. That's fine. All them contracts are done. So that should be it. Oh, by the way, these are definitely broken because I've, I've put them in the wrong orientation, as uh, most people have pointed out. So I will uh, deleterate that. And then, um, well, yeah, I'll close that bus stop and then uh, delete it. But for some reason, the game just... <laughs> of all the bus stops that it could use, it tries to use the ones that are broken. Alpha game is alpha, I guess. Anyway, how is our fuel? Fuel is... Fine, okay, don't need to mention that at all. Okay, so we're going to go to normal speed here. Now, as you can see, what's happening is people are coming along, and they've got their baggage. Traditionally, they would go through the baggage scanner, but now, look at that, they're putting their baggage on there, and it goes off to the unknown. Where is it going? Well, it's going here. And as you can see, the baggage is moving along nicely. It's going through each of the scanners. So this will scan for organic, explosives, money, weapons, and then um, drugs. But look at this one. This one has obviously found something there. And then boom. <laughs> it destroys it. So anything that it finds that's breaking this, it will immediately send to the, uh, the, the cargo crusher, explosive, detonator type thing, whatever it is, and then get rid of it. It will dispose of it. The stuff that is good will come along here and then be placed along here. And what will happen is, once the plane comes along, a, a truck will come, will come in and it will unload stuff and then it will bring bring it to here. And then same either at the same time or just after that's been done, another truck will come along. This will be loaded onto that truck then taken to the plane. So let's just max speed out until we actually get a plane. Um, not the light plane, we need a, a proper plane. Yeah, that's a bit bad. I think that is bugged, that thing. Uh, there's a light plane. There's the one taking off. That's just general aviation, that one. That's just generic aviation. So, almost about to get... Oh, there we go. There's a plane coming in. That is... Laggy. Uh, let me repair that runway. There's a plane coming in. But we're, we're really looking for the big plane. That's the one we're interested in. There's the big plane. There it is there. So that is the CL426 from CLM. London to Generic International Airport. That's from uh, from Luton Airport. Uh, to Generic International Airport. And as you can see, jet's coming along. A little bit forward. The umbilical will extend. And then that will allow people to... Uh, get off the plane and obviously they'll pour out there but you can see all of the ramp agents they're going around the back of the plane so they're they'll be like looking at the engines making sure there's no like birds in them or whatever and then it'll start opening the cargo bays and getting stuff out now when you get um, later on in the game's development obviously we're gonna have really really big things like, like air buses and 747s and 737s and all that sort of thing um actually are those in now 
I'm not too sure. Either way, you'll get the really big planes, and they also will have eventually um, your catering service cleaning and stuff like that. But at the moment, it's uh, just not in there. Look, it's coming soon. So the fuel truck is doing what it should be doing, which is filling stuff up, and the baggage or the the sort of tug thing here has it's just it's just waiting. So Ollie, there you go. Look, the uh, the ramp agents are picking the baggage out of the hold and then putting it onto this, which is good. Uh, in the meantime, we've still got all this stuff going over here, so that's that's good. I'm just uh, seeing... Let's just speed up a little bit, because they'll fill this up. They, they do pile it on top and stuff, so it does look a bit glitchy, but it's not. It's just They are just piling it up um, on top of each other. Just stacking it, you see. And then... Oh, hang on. Similar, similar things going on here over here. Look, see that? That one there... That is actually doing, I'm guessing this one? Is it doing that one? Yes, it's doing that one, look. So it's actually taking stuff out. <laughs> anyway, this one is just coming in. This is the one we've just unloaded. So this is the uh, Flight 427. And then Ramp Agents, same thing. They're going to take all of the stuff, put it on there, and then it goes underneath. And this way. And if we just come over here and max speed out, what will happen is the baggage will eventually, one would hope, start flowing out of that tunnel any second. Please work. Please work. Please! Uh-oh. Oh, it's broke. Nope, it's not. It just takes a long time. There you go. And uh, that's the baggage. People will start to pick their baggage up and then walk off. Simple as that, really. Only took me about 30 attempts to get this working, and genuinely, about an hour where I wasn't recording, just trying to fix the many, many, many issues with the baggage system. <laughs> but, it is now working. This is good. I think we need some more ramp agents. I think we need some more trucks, so let's do that. Uh, we'll say delay... No. This is because... Uh, we will say one, two, three, four, five, six ramp agents and also uh, operations and actually it's not be in economy procurement. We want to say two of the service trucks and oh, everything's sort of stuck here. There we go. But that is the baggage system in. Good. Happy. I'm glad it is working. Let me just go over to the bus stop and we will put in the bus stop as it should have been originally, which is one, two, three. I thought I did it this way, four, five, six, but apparently not. Let's see if this actually functions. And hopefully it won't break. In terms of money, not doing too bad. Nearly a million. That's good. Obviously, lots of stuff uh, working on okay here. That's um, only just landing now. Tuesday, we've got uh, loads of stuff to schedule, so we'll go ahead and do that right now. Because, well, obviously we need to make some more money. This is the whole airport thing, isn't it? That's why we're here. To have planes land and then take off. And hopefully without copious amounts of fire. Um, and we might as well do the Wednesdays one. And then we know we are fully sorted for that contract. Yes, I think we are. Then once that one's done... That one's done. Yeah, that's fine. So as you can see, the baggage system is working. It's not ideal. It's still got some issues because we don't have the ramp agents to sort this out. Why the hell is... Oh my good grief, we've got a huge <laughs> problem with uh, stuff not... What the hell's all that? Oh, it must be snow. Yeah, we've got a huge issue with uh, this getting sort of stuck. So I think what we'll do is place another runway on this side. And then that'll probably one would hope anywhere that'll fix a lot of this a lot of this sort of dead gridlock thing we've got going on cool right might as well do it might as well go ahead and do that right now uh bulldozer i'll bulldoze this road because we don't need that there and then in terms of the runaway it is runaway foundation of asphalt and actually no, it's not a runway foundation. It is just a runway. Small runway. That's it. And it will go in here somewhere. I'm having it the same place as the other one, you see. I'll 
put it as far. Not as far at the edge as I can, but uh, close enough to it. So. That is correct. Move along. And that'll do it. And then once that's in, I will extend it down, similar to the other one. You don't need to have it this long, I don't think. In fact, it is causing a couple of issues, because they have to go to the end and take off, but... Hmm. I'm not too worried. Also, adding another... Probably adding another... Um, runway head here. Might work. Might. Anyway, over to the... Contracts again, and we need to see if we've got some better airline contracts. They're medium, daily medium, because we under that one. That's medium. I'll, I'm going to start rejecting these actually. Daily light, that's fine. Daily medium, daily medium, daily light. That's the difference. So if it does say just say seven light, then you know that uh, seven daily medium. No. Um, it, it just says like, oh, take ten planes, then you've got fine, no problem. You just take ten planes. But if it's daily, then you know you have to make sure that you've got it scheduled in for all of the other days. So it's quite easy to do. You just put it in for. Oh, can't put it in there. I guess I'll have to go on Wednesday. There we go. Just make sure that you've got it all uh, put in as early as possible. And then obviously it goes ahead and puts it for the following days. Um, and then these ones are just the... These ones are just the single ones. Um, you might be asking, like, why, why would you do that, though? Why would you have the daily ones? Because they're less labour-intensive. If you can get, say, 10 contracts, daily ones, then that's a lot of work that you're just not having to do. You just you just wait for the computer to deal with it. You just shove it on, computer then goes, right, we're going to schedule that for the same time every day for the next uh, seven days, and you don't have to be doing this. I think um, one of the most labour-intensive things is that, um, the flight planner, and the and the way you get the flights, I think that's a little bit clunky for the amount you have to do. If it was only once or twice, then fair enough, but I think there needs to be a little bit of a tweak there. Uh, in terms of construction of the airport, I'm, I don't know what else we can really do, other than, well, so we've got this thing, uh, that needs to be definitely upgraded, um, so we'll extend it south, we'll upgrade to asphalt, and we'll build API lights? Uh, south, 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 there we go. That's a big runway. We're not going to open it yet because we need to connect it all with the uh, the asphalt stuff. Now, this here, we could connect it straight across. Or we could not. I am of the opinion that it doesn't really matter too much. So I'm just going to connect it straight like that. From the bottom, I will go... Um, five in. Five by... Is it five? I think it's five, isn't it? Yeah, it's five. So it's five, and then five up to there. Same sort of deal, straight up, and then in. And obviously we'll have to put all of the connections. And we could go along. See what I'm, what I really hope does not happen, is the. This starts taking all of the little general gen uh, generic aviation, and then it's going. Pa it's always going past this, so we might have to connect that up there. But we'll see. Future is problem. The moment, not too bothered. But happy that that baggage system is working. As you can see, that's all going in. It's getting scanned. It's getting dropped off. Do need to do a bit of load balancing when it comes to the amount of people that work on here and everything else. But uh, for the most part, doing all right. I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. Next one, we will finish off all of this runway and things like that. And then um, I think we'll... Th mm, I don't know where we go from here. I don't know where we go from here, actually. I do need another toilet. I need. I'm going to put a toilet in here. I'm going to put a toilet in here because at the moment these toilets are the only ones, and it's the only it's the only secure area. Um, maybe have one in here as well. 
but we need to tidy the place up a little bit because it's been uh, I wouldn't say it's 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 an issue but it's just a little bit uh, a little bit all over the place but that'll be next episode anything you think we should do let me know in the comments and we will go from there thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings ah look at the system working still amazed but you know working